Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You already know who it is, Felipe Caldwell on the third. And today we are going to go back with our Tempest setups. Today I'm going to be showing you my Elite License 2 setups, which means I'm going to be showing you the cards that I used. So if you guys were paying attention during the Tempest 1 setups, then you might already know what, my, what cards I've used. But let's get on with it. For the tier one in the trial races, I used Angel's Honda Civic 1.5 VTEC. I did this specifically because, well, it's the same reason for all of the cars I used for this Elite License. I did it because there are some trial cups that require me to take off certain parts. And because I want to get the most RP out of my races, I took, all, I took the Purple Star boss cars, I built them up to the best I could, and... I made them elite. That way, when I take parts off and I do the trial, I can still get the maximum amount of points that I deserve. Now, this car is maxed. It's got the world record tune on it, and it's ready and set to go. Now, it's pretty simple. I can't remember what the time was that I ran with it, but it was pretty good. It does enough, so if you guys want to do it, go ahead. I didn't do it when it was maxed. I did it with all the upgrades and a couple of fusion parts, maybe 10 to 15 maybe. So if you guys want to go with that, go ahead. Now, let's get to the next guy. Next up on our list for t is the Tier 2 Trial Race winner is Shayna's Land Rover Range Rover Evo Coupe, or whatever, however it is you pronounce that. This thing, exact same reason why I chose it, so I can take parts off when I need to, so I can set it up properly if I need to change the tune, because I don't care, because this is not the fastest car in its league, so it doesn't matter if I keep the world record tune or if I change it for my own benefit. It's not maxed, but it wasn't it wasn't maxed either when I put when I put it up for the trial races. I think I had 39 fusion parts, or no, 30 fusion parts and 39 upgrades. So if you guys want to go with this, go ahead, because this is actually a really good method for it. A lot of people are going to say that, oh, don't do it, it's a slow car. But in the end, you have to go with what you want to do. You have to go with what you want to build and what works for you. Now, let's get on to Tier 3. For Tier 3, I used Amelia's BMW LB BMW M4 Coupe. This thing, I kind of had mixed feelings of when turning Elite. Because this thing, if, as far as I'm concerned, is in within the top 5 fastest tier 3 cars. So, yes, it will give me a lot of RP when I use it. But that also means I cannot use it in any Tempest races. And this thing could have saved me in Tempest 2. But we'll get into that when I do that video. Now, this thing has all its uh, upgrades and almost all the fusion parts. So this thing is nearly maxed. But... When I did do the trial race, it was not fully upgraded. So there are, so you do not need all the stage six parts to get this, to build it up or to win the race. But what I recommend is when you have this car and you are building it, that you go and that you go off and you buy a regular BMW or a BMW M4 because this thing shares stage six parts with it. So if you buy it, build it to stage three and then strip it, Odds are you're going to get fusions and upgrades for this car. And this, so this car is a car you want to build. It is one of the fastest. So go out and do that. As far as I'm concerned, you are considered a noob in this game until you realize you can buy and strip cars for parts. It took me so long to figure that out. So I figured I'd share it with you guys now before you guys are scrambling for parts. Now, let's get to tier four. Next car I used was KJ's Nissan GTR Nismo R35. Now, this car, as always, the same reason, so I can take parts off and take parts on. It is close to being maxed, but it's still not quite there yet. I didn't need it maxed. I didn't need a lot of fus uh, fusions or stage six parts to do it. For this car, you cannot buy other cars, so you can strip them. You can buy 2015 GTRs and strip it for fusion parts, but that's as far as you're going to get for this. So if you guys are up for doing that, by all means, you can go ahead. But you don't have to use this car because this car is pretty slow and it will eventually become a dust collector. Now, 
Let's get on to that. Let's get on to that final car. Our our final car for the trials was Larry's GTA Spaniel. Now, this car, I honest to God, regret building up. This car is, as far as I'm concerned, the third slowest car in its league, running just under 10 seconds, so about 9.9 XX, something like that. And that's fully upgraded and with a world record tune. It, this thing has its 38 uh, upgrade, 38 upgrades, and it's got 83 fusion parts. That it's still exactly the same as when I did the trial race. Honestly, this was a complete regret in my part to build. It's a waste of 6.2 million dollars. Yes, that is how much it takes roughly to build a tier five car. If you guys want to do it, go ahead. But I'm letting you guys know now, once you do, eventually it's going to become a dust collector. But that's pretty much why I have it here for. The only re the only time I ever use it is when I need to do a quick daily race or if I need to do the trials or the restriction trials. Okay. Let's get this. I need this ugly thing out of my face. We're going to look at this guy now. Okay. So, I've given you the cars I used for the trials. I'm going to tell you what car who we are racing against to win their cars. Um, if I remember the order... We're gonna start in tier two. We're gonna race Finn for his car. And from tier two, I believe we go to tier one. We're gonna be racing Conduit. And then from tier one to tier four, we're gonna race Ashley. And then from tier four to tier five, we're gonna be racing Dana. And then from tier five to tier three, we're gonna be racing Kiyia. Yeah. So if you guys, I'm not going to tell you what cars they are. If you guys can search them up if you want, it's all up to you. But that's how it is. Sorry if this video isn't exactly informational or useful, but I'm in a bit of a time crunch. So let's leave it at that. As always, I'm Felipe Calderon III, the FC3. And I hope that this, got, this helps you out. And hopefully I hope to see you guys on the track. See you guys in the next one.